What's up guys, Gunscorch here. Uh, hopefully my audio is good. I did some testing beforehand, but all right, this is how to install GTA mods. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible, so try to keep up, play the video at half speed, whatever you gotta do to uh, keep up if, uh, if I'm going too fast here for you. Uh, pretty much open IV, main and mod installer, uh, script IV, needed, for, needed to run any mod. Uh, I prefer Simple Trainer, even though this one does come with Native Trainer, but that was last updated in 2017, so don't worry about that. Uh, I like using WinRAR. It's good for, like, replacing 7-zip and oh, opening uh, compressed files. Um, obviously 64-bit, 32-bit, download whatever you need. I'm also going to be installing this vehicle mod. So, uh, this I already have downloaded. You just click the download button. And then this is going to open up. You click this, and then that's going to open this up, download the EXE, run it, yada, yada, yada. Pretty simple. Uh, Scriptic V is a little different. It opens up in here. Hit the download. I personally save everything in my desktop. It's going to show up with this. That's why it's on a whole different website. Keep. It's not going to destroy your computer or anything. Trust me. Like, 8 million downloads, so... You're, you're perfectly fine. Uh, most of the time, it'll just do this. Download. I already have that. Download this. Vehicles, depending on the quality, it might be a little bigger, so it might take them a little bit longer. So we'll wait for that to get done. All right. Cool thing about WinZip, or uh, WinRAR, select everything, right-click, Extract each archive to separate folder. Then we have each of these extracted to their separate folder with this name assigned to each folder. Uh, once you're done installing OpenIV, open that. Uh, make sure you click Windows and not Xbox or PlayStation. In this open screen, if this is your first time loading it up, it's going to ask you for your game root folder installation. Go here, library, or wherever you have it. Here is properties, local files, browse. It's basically wherever your GTA 5.exe file is. This is your root folder. So you would double click on this, or single click, I guess, double click, and then control A. Uh, copy that. Put that in the little pop-up window that OpenIV gives you. And then it should pop up with this. Uh, you can either click ASI Manager or this little button over here. That's the ASI Manager. I'm going to just do this. Uh, ASI Letter, you're going to need that. Install, that's going to put a uh, D input 8.dll in here. And you also need that. Personally, I like to check that so that I don't corrupt any other files. That basically says... It's going to create a mods folder, and it's only going to allow you to edit the files in that mods folder. Yes, we don't need open camera, so we're going to close. As you can see, here's the mods folder. Uh, we are going to need, specifically for the vehicle, uh, this directory in the mods folder. But we don't need all of these, like, 50 gigs worth of files. So, mpg 9 I know is a very small one because this is the uh, this is that update that came out to uh, consoles only for enhanced, so PCs didn't get it. That's why there's just a small, really small file. Copy to mods folder. Bing, bang, boom. Puts all the files in there. Click DLC packs. We can then right click and delete on that. Now we have all the directories in here that we need. We need that specifically. Or the vehicle. Right here. DLC RPF. Up one level. Drag and drop the folder. If it doesn't have like a specific car name, follow along with the text file. It'll show you how to create a new folder with the right name. And then bing, bang, boom. Uh, I'm going to minimize that. We're going to actually need this update. RPF file as well, so it'll be root folder, update, update, not update to. Copy to mods folder. This is about a gig in size, so this will take a minute to do the copying. 
Uh, in the meantime, we can actually drag these other files directly into here. So this is script hook bin, as I said, 2017. I useful the input eight DASI loader installs that. Uh, we can either drag and drop the DLLs files right into the root directory where we need them. Or now that this is done, for this one, we just need the ASI and the INI. Go right back to the root directory. Drag them into blank space. That'll add them too. You can do either one. It all works. Uh, other than that, now we go here, common, data, scroll down to DLC list, right click and edit or control enter. I'm going to copy that, paste that, delete everything that's in here. And then go back over here and it says bell error. Uh, pretty sure it's case sensitive, so just be careful. Uh, you could probably even copy the name of that specifically, just to be sure. Hit save, and then hit run. Alright, so now once you're logged in and, well, loaded, uh, F3 or F4 opens up the trainer V menu. Go down to, uh, NumLock has to be on, and you use the, uh, the number pad to go down, uh, if you don't have a number pad, I'm be honest, I'm not entirely sure how you're going to do this. Um, five is enter, by the way. And you can go up. Uh, added vehicles menu is the easiest way. As you can see, it's right here. Click five. It loads this. Zero backs out, or I think backspace. Zero backs out, or backspace, I think, just completely closes the menu. Uh you have your spawned vehicle. And uh, the cool thing about uh, the trainer V menu is if you push L, it turns on the right turn signal. And if you push K, it turns on the left turn signal. And then push it again to turn it off. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is specifically for trainer V. Um, I, I don't think any other menu does that. Uh, if you would like to play online or whatever and don't want to go through the hassle of reinstalling all your mods uh, go back to the root folder and either delete the input 8.dll and then to reinstall it you would just go to the ASI manager and hit install on the ASI loader then or what I find easier is go back to your root folder take it Drag it somewhere else, hold shift so that it does a move, drag it to your desktop. If this is not in here, it won't load the mods folder or any of the mods that you have installed. You'll be able to run GTA Online perfectly fine and not get not have to worry about getting banned or anything or whatever for having changed game files because it will not load that mods folder with the updated game files. And it's not going to load any of the other ASIs. Um... If you would like to do a complete clean install or like refresh, completely remove the mods, mods folder, pretty much anything you added. So the mods folder, D input eight. Obviously, if you just did like vehicles, it would be the mods folder, D input eight. Script hook v.dll, leave the Steam API one, uh, the OpenIV ASI, the trainer v ASI, trainer v INI. Uh, and then the logs should be fine, but uh, those shouldn't affect anything if they're left in. But uh, then you can delete all that, and then your game is completely brand new before you did any editing. And it updates in here live as well. Alright, hope this helped. Try to keep it short, under 10 minutes. Let's go. Alright, peace out.